In this video, Kevin and I are going to be talking about our likes and dislikes for the month of August. So this is the video where I put out a lot of videos, at, at least four every day. I mean, that's just what it is. And not everyone has time to sit there and watch every video. Um, there are people that do though, and you don't even know how much I appreciate you. You not only watch the videos, but you give me a thumbs up. Uh, I've had people hit that, um, the heart underneath the video. There's a heart that says donate or something like thanks. that, or, or thanks or something. And I have gotten donations from that, uh, which I greatly appreciate. Uh, but uh, the, the comments, uh, when you comment on the videos, it is all very, very much appreciated. Uh, but some of you don't have time to watch every video. And so this video is one to watch at the end of every month because we're gonna show you the things we really, really didn't like or that we, we loved, loved enough to put in this video. Well, there's a lot of things you just like and it's okay, but not enough to make it to this video. We always go over the things we hated first and uh, so to get that out of the way and hopefully end the video on a positive note. So, which one of the, we have two things we did not like. Show whatever. Okay. This was from Sibo Express Gourmet Markets, classic black and white. Do you remember where we bought this? The airport. The airport. Um, yeah, we bought it, uh, we bought it at the airport. We bought it with uh, two other cookies. Um, it was $4.79 which truly is not a bad price for the size this is and tough. for it to be in the airport. Yeah. Um, not a bad price. Still expensive. But I wrote <laughs> on the back, the chocolate tasted rancid. Uh, the white was just okay sugar. So this is not one, uh, this black and white cookie was not one that I would get again. And The um, texture wouldn't hit all that great, honestly. No, not at all. Um, Ashley, our daughter was with us and so I said, I would like to buy these three cookies for a review uh, once I get home. And so what I felt bad about is because I drew her attention to these cookies. And so she was hungry right then. So she bought an extra black and white for her to eat right then. And, and, and she didn't like it. I was like, oh no. And I didn't want to try it because I didn't want to get it you know, have any idea of what it might taste like before we do the review. So I didn't try it with her in the airport, but I knew she really, really didn't like it. And I thought, well, maybe she's just being finicky. Now, she wasn't just being finicky. It was a nasty it cookie. It just wasn't good. But now the other two were good. Yeah. And they're better uh, if you can put them in the microwave. Uh, but uh, yeah, this, this just wasn't good. And then this, this, uh, Kevin can hold this up for you. What is, is it called? Uh, the original cakery lemons and cream layer cake. And I wrote on here it was overly sharp and tart and it lacked sweetness. Well, it had real whipped cream. Right. And lemon curd. So right. there was, using whipped cream doesn't help overcome any tartness in there, so it doesn't right. have any sweetness to it really. So uh, yeah, there was nothing to overcome that. Yeah, truly, I would not, um, normally choose a a dessert with whipped cream and be it cookies <laughs> or whatever i don't yeah if i know something's gonna have whipped cream it kind of is like oh mm -hmm. you know oh because i just know it's not you know whipped cream is just not that sweet and it's not exciting or anything you know uh so yeah that i would not buy again i think we bought that at kroger mm -hmm. pretty, pretty sure, sure we bought that at kroger Okay, so now we can get into the things that we really, really liked. I have two things to show you that Kevin and Jennifer sent us from California. One is this uh, Cote, Cote Dior. Um, it is a hazelnut bar. It's a huge chocolate bar. Mm -hmm. And um, they went to France and they picked us up some things while they were in France. and carried them home. I told Kevin, they carried the stuff home in the luggage, you know, and I know what then, it's then like. Mail them to us. And mailed them to us. And uh, so we really appreciate mm -hmm. that. So they sent us uh, this hazelnut bar, which was wonderful quality chocolate. It's like I remember the hazelnut was okay, but it was just, it was really good chocolate. chocolate. It was just, the hazelnut was just fine. It was fine, but, but it was really mostly about the chocolate. Right, I think so. Yeah. 
Um, and then these are the Phenacea, I think is how you're supposed to pronounce it. I don't know. Uh, these are almond we're cakes. No, but these were almond cakes. And honestly, if I, the, the world market might sell these because they do sell the Bon Mon Mon um, brand stuff. If I had seen this, and I think I said this during the video, if I had seen this at World Market, I would have passed it by and not bought these because it they just they look, look plain. They look plain. They look like little pound cakes. And they're they're fantastic. They're very good. They are awesome. Um, like I said, they're just little almond cakes. They don't need anything else. We mm -hmm. talked about whipped cream before. Of course, you could dip them in something. You could dip them in Nutella if you wanted don't to or whatever. No, you really want to eat these just by themselves. Mm -hmm. They're, They're very good. fantastic. So we appreciate Kevin and Jennifer sending them. I mean, them you could use them like a like a strawberry shortcake base if you really wanted to, but like I said, you don't. You need could, to and it would be delicious. Yeah. yeah, it'd be very good. Um, this one is David's Cookie Cookie Dough Chunks, the Churro. Mm -hmm. I don't remember where we bought those. You don't? I don't. Because you're the one that spotted. I did, but I don't remember where I bought them. At um, the what's the that family in Critchfield? Critchfield me. I couldn't think of it for a That's minute. That's right. There. I remember that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because we got to the, they have the big round, uh, it's refrigerated. Mm -hmm. And then you got to the end cap and That's it was the, on are, the, yeah. Because we've had the cookies. Uh -huh. uh, we've had the cookie dough. We've had the cookie dough. But we hadn't yeah. had these little hunks. And I yes. love the, the, the flavor and everything. And the churro was really good because it had that good yes. cinnamon flavor. They need to make, uh, because somebody said, I don't remember what the comment was. There was a comment under this video that said, you probably will not ever see those in particular in the mainstream store. Uh, and I don't remember why they said the reason mm -hmm. was. Um, okay, that's fine. They don't have to sell the, the, ch the, the little, little chunks. That's fine. But they could at least sell the, the tubs. a tub of churro. Yeah, because they sell those at Kroger. Kroger, yeah. um, but we now we do like those bites more. Mm -hmm. We actually yeah, I like being able to just bites. get out a certain amount and just just eat them slowly. Because if I get yeah. a tub, I'm eating it fast because yes. I'm getting spoonfuls. Right, but <laughs> shoveling that, it in as fast as possible. That is a great uh, combination of cinnamon sugar, mm -hmm. very sweet. The texture yeah, was really nice, good. and those were. Um, they're refrigerated, so they're completely different than the ones, the brand that you buy that's on the shelf that's not refrigerated. Right. These were actually really successful. Um, so, we bought, while we were on the vacation, I told you about the airport, the cookie and all that, we were at the airport and we bought uh, these two candy bars from, it was called like, was it the Universal? Universal Store. Or Orlando like Resort Store something or something like that. Like that. Uh, was, that was in Florida, mm -hmm. and we had never been in one of those stores before, and it was so cool because they had tons of merchandise. And, oh, it was all character-related yes. stuff. Yes, and they were playing like movie theme music mm -hmm. in there, and they had tons of Harry Potter stuff. And if you wanted to like dress in Harry Potter from head to toe, you could have bought the whole outfit in there. But they also had really fun food. They had Harry Potter themed food, but then they had these candy bars that uh, I guess if you don't go to the parks, you're not going to see them, of course. This one was uh, cotton candy flavored. Sweet and fluffy. <laughs> and then this one was Donkey's Waffle Bar. It was a maple flavored bar with waffle cone pieces. Yeah, I remember those. Both of these. Um, really good. I have, I said during the video, it says distributed by Universal Parks and Resorts, but you don't know who's actually making these. Whatever company's making these needs to make these same flavors and just put them under a different name or something because. They're really delicious chocolate yeah, they were bars. Good. Yeah, they were really very. Good. Textures and flavors and everything was really good. And I know, I'm sure we paid a lot for them at the oh, airport. Sure. So, you know, if somebody else was making them and selling them someplace else, they're not going to be as expensive. They'd be just as expensive probably in the park, though. So, oh, really. in the park? Yeah, I'm oh, sure I'm they're sure. expensive yeah. no matter what you do. Yeah. Okay, so I have a Trader Joe's. This is, is the Celebration Cake Gelato with cake pieces. Um, yeah, it was really, really good. We, we've... Trader Joe's ice cream is kind of hit or miss. Sometimes we like it, and sometimes it's like, eh, I can leave it. I agree. Uh, this was really, really good. This is one yeah. I would I would buy again if I was ate at Trader Joe's all the time. And people have told me they have bought that again and again. Oh, really? They yeah. Really I could see it. that because it was a really good flavor, and it was a good birthday cake vanilla kind of flavor. It was really good. So in that same video, we did two things. We reviewed these. These are mm -hmm. the mini cheesecake cones. 
Um, they're almond Florentine cones filled with a creamy cheesecake filling. The star those are the cones. Yes. They could totally, the cheesecake was nothing. It, it really it didn't really taste, no, it didn't really <laughs> taste like cheesecake. It was nothing. They could sell just those cones and I would buy them because mm -hmm. the texture, the flavor was, I love almond and the flavor of these was fantastic. It's very good. Um, so I did not keep the box, <laughs> uh, but I wanted to, so I, well actually I threw the box away and then we put something in the garbage on top of it. And then when I thought to get it back out, it was like, uh, I can't, I can't use that box anymore cause it's dirty now. So that's why I printed this out. But you, you if you buy these, don't buy them for the cheesecake. That's all I'm telling you. Just no, know. The cheesecake really wasn't existent. Right. The, the star of the show is going to be the uh, the cone. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. It was, it was really, really good. Mm -hmm. And it was good and crunchy. It was just really good. Mm -hmm. um, Sweet. These are the member's mark, which is the, did you want me to say something different? No, I just wanted to say, I don't think we reviewed those. I think we oh, just okay. bought them and ate them. I just ate these, <laughs> but I should have reviewed them because I would have said they're awesome. Uh, yeah, um, I think you just ate them. I did because, because uh, I don't know why I didn't review them. For whatever reason, I didn't review them. Yeah. These are member's mark, the beef steak strips and uh, they're extra thick cut and they were, they were big hunks of steak and um, they just were really, really good, really good texture really good flavors. I mean, I uh, had a really nice seasoning to you. So if you, these are a Sam's Club. So you can only get them at Sam's Club. That's the problem. Um, so if you don't have a Sam's Club in your area, you can't get them. But if you have a Sam's Club membership and you want to try these out and you never have, you just try these out. They're really, really good. And yeah, I didn't review them, but I, but I should have. I would have given them, they would have been in this video anyway because I like them so much. I wonder why Sam's Club is Walmart. I know. Why like does Walmart. a Walmart have a version? I know. It seems like they would have a Sam's Club version or Sam's. If you Walmart. all know, if there is, and we just don't know about it, tell us. Because they don't sell members mark stuff at Walmart. It seems no, like they, they would. Don't, no, I mean, it I'm, seems like it would. I'm just saying, it seems like they would. They're already making the product, just making a smaller version. Well, so I'm saying, would they have a great value? I don't think I've seen the, the extra thick. Do they uh, have great value beef jerky? Yeah. They yeah, do? I think, I think so. Oh, I don't know. I think Walmart has their own brand. I oh. think. I could be wrong. I don't, I don't remember. Look. But anyway, these are good. Yeah, I <laughs> they're, they're worth trying for sure. Um, this is something that you're all, you know, you're not going to see all the time because this is an energy drink. It was called Lost and Found Energy. And uh, this one was the Great Fizz. We bought this uh, at Vitamin Shop. And I've only seen these at Vitamin Shop. So it's not like you're going to find them in Walmart or someplace like that. You might I, at some point. Though. You might at some point, <laughs> but I thought it had a really great uh, flavor. I mm -hmm. like the, uh, the little bear on the front. He's missing one of his button eyes, uh, but it, you know, it has to go beyond the picture on the front. It was actually a really nice flavor. Yeah, that's great. I don't depend on energy drinks for energy. I have enough energy, so I don't buy these typically. We just have bought some to review, you know, when we've reviewed them for the channel. But if you do drink energy drinks, I would want you to know this is a good grape. Yeah, if you it, like candy grape. It, it's got a good is, candy flavor. Yes. We've had energy drinks that like the, the Red Bulls and stuff that kind of don't have that candy-like flavor. And it, and it makes you wonder why people still drink those when they could have like melted candy. <laughs> I mean, literally. Yeah. I don't, Give me the understand. candy. <laughs> I, don't, I don't understand it. I only have two more things. So. Oh, okay. Well, I have the Hagen Doss. These are the cultured creams. Uh, this one is the lemon, and this is the black cherry. We reviewed, I think, what six, six or seven, seven or seven. something like that, and um, um, we really like these. I can also honestly, say, I liked all of them. I can also say I like the coffee one. Yeah, I actually like all of them pretty much. Yeah, the coffee um, was terrific to me. It might not be for some people. I yeah, don't it was think, just too strong coffee. For I them. don't think Kevin would get it all the time, but I would. Uh, but if you don't mind eating the calories, these are good. And that's why I will, you will never see them in the grocery haul again unless they come out with new flavors for us to review. Because this uh, black cherry is 190 calories for this teeny tiny cup. That's it. That's all you get. This one's, the lemon is 200. So, you know, that it is what it is. We just, we won't get them again. But I would want you to know if that doesn't bother you, you will They're like really those. They're really good. Yeah. yeah. Um, then, the Snickers Butterscotch Scoop. 
that should have been called the butterscotch or uh, maple. Snickers Maple Nut Goody. Yeah. That's what it should have been called, Snickers Maple Nut Goody. And I've had so many people leave comments. Just yesterday, I had somebody new leave a comment saying, um, it, you're right. It tastes just like a maple nut getting. Doesn't taste anything like butterscotch. And see, Brock's, this person also said Brock's discontinued those. Oh, and they've missed know. those ever since they discontinued them. Now you can buy these. And now you can, it, that's <laughs> what they said. They said, I'm so glad that I can get that maple nut goody flavor in the Snickers. Mm -hmm. as the long bad thing as, is it doesn't have the crunch. As long as you can find them. We had a terrible time finding them. But now we've seen them at Walmart like tons of them. We have. Uh, but I, I, do you think these are here to stay or you think they're know. limited? I don't know. Snickers does come out with flavors and leave them around for a long time. So. Yeah. So they might be. I don't know anything about how long they're supposed to be here. But it's if you like maple nut goody, this, it, I thought it was really yeah, good. Yeah, if you want a really rich, buttery butterscotch, you're not getting it. Because <laughs> it no. is not no, butterscotch I don't think so. at all. No. Can we do one of them? Sure. Um, I'll do this ice cream. This is the Brewsters. This one is the Black Raspberry Choco Chunk. I guess that doesn't make any sense to you, but there's the name. Um, but Brewsters overall is a pretty good brand of ice cream. Honestly, oh, I, honestly, it, I yeah. don't think there's been but maybe one that we didn't like, and it's just because they put too much dye in it. Yeah. Um, and honestly, that's probably the only reason. If somebody made it again after that, it, it might have been perfectly fine. fine. Yeah. Uh, but just really good ice cream. If you got a Brewsters in your area, you've never been there. You should go look for a flavor that sounds good to you and try it out because it's really really good. And, and, and while he's on the subject of Brewsters, I, I I'm going to. Uh, do some. I don't really like to do this, but I'm going to. I'm going to compare brands right now. Something positive about the Brewsters. One of the things I loved about this, uh, this and all of their ice creams, is they give you. They're very, very generous with the mix-ins. Mm. Oh, it's got tons of stuff in there. And it's actually a mix-in. It's not just it's ribbons and chunks all through. Yes. It. So this one in particular, you could not take a bite without getting a little piece of, of chocolate. Or raspberry. Uh, you you the little pieces of chocolate were all through there. Mm -hmm. They were like little shavings of chocolate, mm -hmm. and really you could and it was from from the top to the bottom, it's all through there. So that was awesome. But, and I have to say that because the next brand I'm going to show you. They do things differently, and I would just want you to know. Uh, this is a local company, and these they're in the favorites because they were a favorite for me at least. Uh, this is Crank and Boom. Uh, this is called Candy Brashear. It's a play on the governor's name, Andy Brashear. Uh, but this one in particular had M&Ms and Kit Kat and Butterfinger, and this one did have mix-ins throughout the whole yeah, thing. that one was actually mixed in or yes. churned in. This one was churned in. This one is a special flavor and it had the M&Ms all through it and everything. It was absolutely delicious. Very, very good. It's uh, probably one of my favorite ones from them. This one wasn't one of Kevin's favorites, but it's one of my favorites. I thought they did a great job with it. And this is the bubble gum. The bubble gum, I thought they did this right because the whole thing tasted like bubble gum, but they only put the bubble gum at the top. And I thought that was really, really smart because you don't want to get bubblegum pieces throughout. The only thing that I would say is um, if you order... These I'll, were two exceptions. These yeah. were two exceptions. Most, most of the ice creams that we've had, the way they do it is they'll put a flavor on the bottom. And then they'll put a whole section, a middle section of like just peanut butter, all peanut butter ice cream or whatever. And then they'll put a section of a special thing at the top. Yeah. So sometimes... So for example, they did a peanut butter and jelly. And it was... The, you got the peanut butter and jelly on the bottom. On the very bottom. Then you got a peanut butter flavored ice cream, which was okay. It was good. And then a peanut butter and jelly on the at top. At the top. And then that was it. It that wasn't was it. mixed in or spoiled no. or anything. So... The pina colada was the same one. Yeah. There was pina colada flavoring on the bottom. Then you got some at the top. But it wasn't in the middle. Not at all. So... That's the difference. I'm still putting these in favor. They're still really good. Because I thought they were really, really yeah. good. But I wouldn't want you to get it and be like, well, where's the mix-ins in the middle? Because sometimes, sometimes they don't put mix-ins in the middle. It's yeah. only at the bottom and top. Well, all so. the ones you can, unless you live local, all the ones you can get do have mix-ins. So okay. Oh, would they? On uh, Gold Belly? I think all the ones See, Gold I don't Belly know. have mix-ins. I can't swear to that, but I think a lot of them do. Right. But I would just want you to know that it's really, it is a very good ice cream. They do a great job. Um, it's and, good ice cream. Yeah. It's a little expensive. But it's it's expensive. At, well, if you buy it at Whole Foods, 
it's actually cheaper than if you buy it at, at the, the actual scoop shop, which doesn't make any <laughs> sense to me any sense at all. because they didn't have to, to spend any gas no, no, no. to at the store. Where I guess they're getting the money from Whole Foods. I guess, because oh. you've had to send somebody over in a car to yeah. spend gas money to give it to Whole Foods. Well, think about it. Whole Foods, they, they charge $8. Or nine something, is it, I think. Is it nine something? I, I, it think, it's, something. I think it's okay, nine something. Okay, it went up a little bit. But anyway, it's at least $2 cheaper. Mm -hmm. But you got to figure Whole Foods is making some money off that. Mm -hmm. So they're probably only giving um, uh, Crank and Boom, what, six, seven, eight dollars These maybe. are $12 a pint. If you buy them at the store. Yes, at, 12 At their store. At their scoop shop, it's yeah. $12. So you no. figure Whole Foods has to be making some money or they wouldn't be selling us so they have right. to be getting a lot less than twelve dollars a piece for them that's for sure it is fun though to see what new flavors they're going to come out with every week and to try them and everything it's hard to convince me to spend twelve dollars on ice cream yes now. but <laughs> i can tell you just like their banana pudding is exceptional yeah, it's really it's good. exceptional banana pudding if that would be offered on gold belly you should totally get it i don't know if it is or not it is but or not. it's it's wonderful uh, Last one. These are the Doritos Late Night Loaded Taco. Uh, we re reviewed these very recently. Uh, and they're out in the stores now. You can get them pretty much everywhere we've been. We've seen them, I think. At Kroger. Only at Kroger. Only at Kroger. Yeah. But I mean, all the Kroger's that we've been yes, to. Yeah, yes. yeah, they've had it. I'm sorry. Um, but they're, they're just excellent. And they do not compare to the regular Doritos taco. Yeah. Those those are cheese. <laughs> These are actual, literally taste like taco yes. with lettuce and tomato and seasonings and meat. And I mean, they yeah. taste like the whole thing. Yes, they're and very, very good. I ate all of these. Yeah. Not in one sitting. I did no. spread them out over many nights, but but I did eat all of them. Kevin was good with them because I would get one little he would get a handful every single night until they were all gone. Like not even a huge handful, just a small handful. Yeah. So I was pretty good with yeah, them. Yeah, you were really good with yeah. them. Yeah. So now we're going to uh, switch gears. Kevin has a, another channel, a separate channel called Lunchtime Review. And he reviews frozen foods, shelf-stable foods. Sandwiches. Sandwiches, things like that. Things that you would have at work. Yeah. So when these videos... Gosh. So like I don't do stuff for like ovens because right. most people don't have ovens at work. I but wouldn't if, do I wouldn't do an air fryer because most people don't have air fryers at right. work. And who would clean the thing if you did have one? Right. Can you imagine how funky that would be? Yeah. Because I know places I the places I've worked, nobody's cleaning that thing. <laughs> no, you. I, no, disgusting. I think it would be disgusting. Yeah. But if you go way back, I'm sure the videos are horrible quality. Oh, I'm zooming on my phone. I, literally at work. Yes, he was. He was at work, and he was um, having to sometimes talk low because he was very um, afraid of the people in the offices, offices the next door. to him hearing him. And so I'm sure that it would be very funny to go back and watch some of those. Probably a lot um, darker hair back then. Too. Probably. He's been doing this for a long, long time. But once a week, uh, he, he hasn't done uh, fast food uh, from the very beginning. That's just in recent years. One day a week on Thursday, you will get a, a fast food video or some kind of out to eat video. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, do you want to show what you... Yeah, so I had a hate... And I had a lot. Hate. So, hate. <laughs> hated it. Uh, this one is the uh, Marie Calendar size. This is the sweet corn casserole. I gave it a two. <laughs> oh. um, it was very, I mean, I always preface this by saying that was in the microwave. If you were to put this in the oven, the top of it might crisp up and everything. That being said, I'll also say, if Marie Callender's did not like the quality of the product out of the microwave, they shouldn't put microwave directions on that. Amen, brother. I agree. Because, <laughs> like, like, let's say, for instance, there's lots of uh, appetizer type items that look like they would be okay heated up in the microwave. But those products don't have microwave directions on it because they know they're going to come out soggy or they're going to come out whatever. They don't put microwave directions on there. You have to bake them. Right. This is one that probably should have only had oven directions on it because it was not good. It was very soggy, mushy texture. The cornmeal on the top just got mushy. Can Kind of like uh, if you get wet cornbread. I mean, it was just like, ugh. Was it mushy. like cream corn? Uh, it's... No, it's not supposed to be like cream corn. In it the wasn't list. supposed to be, but was it? It, it come out like, yeah, like cream corn with, with cornmeal. But it wasn't supposed it. It was, to be. It's supposed to be a, like cornbread almost. Oh, yeah, and you're just, saying it was really... It was mushy. Was it mushy. wet? Um, yeah, it was kind of wet. Uh, very little corn was actually in it. And and it had really no flavor. It was just cornmeal. That's all you got. When you, you look at the picture, it shows corn and like 
cheese or whatever that yeah cheddar cheese um, all through there it was nothing like that that is something you know a lot of things i think it's great that you can buy for convenience yeah. uh, terrific this is one of those things we have we've made like a, a loaf of bread that had corn in it you could easily make a corn bread oh, casserole they've got corn casserole yeah, they've got all kinds you of recipes out there. You could easily make that and in, in pop in the oven, and it would be delicious. You could probably make your regular cornbread recipe. That's what I'm saying, and add yeah. corn to and it. And add corn and some cheese to it and you bake could. it just like you normally would. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's just one of those things that's really simple. Jiffy, Jiffy corn muffins. It's sweet. Mix corn and cheese in those and yeah. bake those. That would be awesome. Yeah. So anyway, horrible. Don't buy that. <laughs> Unless you're going to bake it, then it might be better. I can't guarantee it because I, right. I didn't bake it. Uh, this one is one I like. This one's the Boston Market crustless chicken pot pie, and I said I gave it a 4.5, and it was just really, really good. They, they, um, there's no crust, which is my favorite part of a pot pie. I mean, honestly, I don't buy I pot pies. Too. I don't buy. I don't want the flavor of pot pie unless I have the crust, honestly. Right. But this was really good. It was more like a, a chicken, like a stew, like a, you know, like a beef stew. Mm -hmm. This is more like a vet, a chicken stew. It was like the vegetables and the chicken was really good, very tender. The flavors were just like you would get in a pot pie. It had that kind of, that gravy, I call it the juice, but it's the gravy in the there. Gravy, yeah. The gravy was excellent in that. So this is really good. If you can't eat the crust or you don't want the crust, maybe it's, you're trying to cut down on carbs for whatever reason, um, try one of these. I don't know if the carbs are even that much lower, honestly. Um, no, it's still 35 grams. So, <laughs> so you don't want to get that. And the sodium was out uh, 1,290 milligrams of sodium and 55 milligrams of cholesterol. <laughs> so not your healthiest. So don't meals. eat one every day. Just no, eat one no, every once in a while. Just or eat half of one. My favorite thing with the with pot pies is I love to take when the the out, that outer crust gets really really crispy, really dark, and you can. Uh, pick it off and then dip it into yeah. your gravy and eat it. That's yeah. I, I, I just eat break it. mine up and flip flip it all inside and mix it all up. So it's but I eat no. it so fast it stays crunchy. Oh no! And you eat it all at one time? Yeah, crust. Oh, stuff. see, that's the difference. Is I'm like savoring every bite. I'm literally like taking off a little bit of the edge, like a Reese's cup. And but then I'm dipping it in that gravy and oh yeah, bite by bite. I probably I don't know how many bites I get around it. But I, I break mine and put it inside. No. Just like cereal, getting all the milk on it. No, Kevin. It doesn't get soggy. There should thing. be a is this is there a book called No Kevin? There, no, no, it's called No, David. That's what it's called. It's called No, David. We need to have a book called No, Kevin. <laughs> it could be all food things. <laughs> him, him doing things and me saying no, Kevin. Um, but I told you, on Thursdays, you get a fast food video or out to eat video somewhere. Sometimes it's a nice restaurant mm -hmm. and it's one of those curbside things. Yeah, um, those. Most of them it's fast food though. So I or like to places. ask him what he liked the most or what he would never eat again. I just like to know. And so this month, there were five Thursdays in the month. So we got a bonus video. So you had the Culver Spicy Crispy Chicken Sandwich and you had Wisconsin Cheese Curds, which I think a lot of people don't order just because of the name. I think cheese curds, the it word curds. It was just curds, a cheese stick is all it really I was. I think it puts people and off. It had a little saltiness to it. They were actually good. Just think, think about taking a string cheese and cutting it in pieces and deep, and battering it and deep frying it, that's what it was like. I think just people don't like the word curds. curds. Yeah, I yeah. Agree. Uh, Then you had- But they're not a uniform shape. They're kind of like blobs. That's mm -hmm. why they're curds, I guess. A uh, Taco Bell shredded beef grilled cheese dipping taco, and you had a beefy crunch burrito mm -hmm. at the, in the same video. Right. Then you had, uh, you went to the Tropical Smoothie Cafe right. and had the Chipotle Chicken Club flatbread beach bum smoothie and two cookies, which a lot of people said they were very grateful to Kevin that he showed the Tropical Smoothie Cafe because they thought, they said, we've had one in our area for a while. I thought they only sold smoothies because that's okay. all that's in their name. Yeah. And they they sell food. So uh, then you had the- I wouldn't have known either, but Tammy looked it up. I, I <laughs> uh, well, it was new in our town. Yeah, and so I we were wanted, looking to see I what wanted to see what they yeah. had. Uh, then we had, uh, you had the Burger King BK Royal Crispy uh, you had three wraps, three different flavors in the wraps. Then you had the honey mustard chicken sandwich and Hershey's Sunday pie, which if you haven't watched that video, it's, it's, a, a it's longer than normal because that one video has two Burger Kings in it. <laughs> 
Um, yeah, it was a fiasco. A, it was a, it was a Popeyes. It was fiasco. a cluster. Yeah, it was like Popeyes. Yeah, um, <coughs> and then lastly, you had the Wendy's loaded nacho cheeseburger. Okay, actually, you're going to see that video today. So we're giving you a sneak peek of what you're going to see this afternoon if you're interested. Wendy's loaded nacho cheeseburger, queso fries, and the Fanta strawberry fusion. Okay, so I can honestly say the um, all of them were okay. There was nothing really bad. Um, the Culver's, uh, the Wisconsin cheese curds were the best part of that. They're cheesy, but they're a little salty. The chicken, it seemed like it was really hot. I and mean, it was good, but it wasn't It wasn't something I would buy all the time. But their chicken's pretty decent. You don't go to Culver's for their chicken sandwich. I do not, because their chicken is not like a, it's not like Kentucky Fried or even um, Cane's or Zaxby's or... or um, well, Cane's doesn't have a sandwich. They have a do sandwich. they? Yeah. Do they, they have They a put sandwich? tenders on bread. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I just never she get that. I never got one. I never, I never <laughs> um, Or uh, Chick-fil-A. It's not like that oh. kind of chicken. It's a different kind of chicken. It's just not as good and crispy as like... Uh, my favorite chicken sandwiches are honestly probably KFC's, honestly. Um, the Taco Bell, the that uh, beefy crunch burrito was a joke because it was all rice. It was literally full of rice. Um, but the shredded beef taco, the, the dipping one... I liked it. It was good. I liked the taco itself because it had a really good flavor to it, but it was more like a quesadilla than a taco. And um, and dipping it in the sauce was, I mean, I'd rather just put fire sauce on there and eat it like a taco. Why? I don't need to dip it. I um, heard they're getting sued. Oh, from false advertising. Yeah, because my taco did not look anything like that picture. Yeah. Imagine if everybody just, though, decided to sue everybody because their food didn't look like the picture. How do you go... Look. They almost always say. Do you ever get what's <coughs> on the box? I mean, really, seriously. There's a million pieces of corn on that picture of the Marie. They the box the the pictures never look like what. I mean, do you know how long it's, it's false advertising? It, how, right? But it they is. always say your product may product may vary. It is false like advertising. I mean, but they, I mean, because they're using glue, Elmer's glue, instead of using milk to make it look like milk. But it, I mean, it's just like a known thing. I mean, no, it shouldn't be okay. It shouldn't be it shouldn't acceptable. Be. Uh, maybe this will. I think. It, I think the Taco Bell thing is all about portion, the size of it, though, oh. because they show it like really full of stuff, like that meal. That meal was, I probably did get that much stuff in mm -hmm. that meal. Um, the Taco Bell thing, they show a taco that's half filled with meat. And you get it, it's like this much meat in the bottom uh, of the no, shell. That's and it's different. like, it's like no, that's that, nowhere near one. Okay, guy. that's different. Yeah, yeah, I haven't I read the details. The I don't know that. either, but I'm just, I'm I haven't read the details of that lawsuit. I just thought, I saw like the highlights and I, I thought <laughs> that was very interesting. But it, now, if that's the case, more power to them because they're right. They You should be given the, the right portion the yeah. size yeah. yeah that's like they'll, they'll shove all the meat that is actually how much meat's on that taco but they've taken the whole taco and shoved it to one end where the picture to make it at. look like yeah you get the one. rest of it's empty <laughs> so they're technically being correct but they're right. not you know they're lying um the tropical smoothie cafe um, it was good i wouldn't get the smoothie again because there are a lot of calories for for that that smoothie um also a whole lot of calories the cookies it seemed like i liked one better than the other one um but i also think that you could probably just go to the, any grocery store and buy a cookie and it would be just as good i think I, I wouldn't even worry about the cookies from that but i did like the club uh, flatbread i really did like that I know it's easier to put the sauce kind of in the middle, but I really wish they'd spread the sauce a little bit more. But that, that was my only complaint. I said that during the video. Um, the Burger King, you know, it was okay. I really liked the honey mustard ones better than anything because it really had a good flavor to it. And I like the original, just the original crispy one. The other one, what was the other one? Um, honey. Honey mustard chicken sandwich. Yeah, but the three wraps. I got oh, three I didn't wraps. write down One was the a name. spicy one. It wasn't anything. And and the, the honey mushroom was just okay. So uh -huh. the original was actually And then you better. had a Hershey. But, but honestly, I would rather go to KFC and get their sandwiches again. You um, had a Hershey Sunday pie. The Sunday pie was okay. It looked like what Edwards... It, it looked just like a slice of Edwards uh -huh. pie. And I don't even know if Edwards <laughs> still sells that pie with Hershey's written on it. I have um, no idea. It was okay. It wasn't super sweet because I don't think that... I think they used more of a whipped like mousse in there and it was it was, it was okay. Um, I wouldn't spend the money for it, but, but that's just me. Uh, and then the Wendy's loaded nacho cheeseburger and then the queso fries. I wouldn't te technically get the queso fries because they get soggy. 
uh, where the queso dip and the cheese is on top of them, you pick them up and they're just soggy as can be. And I know that wasn't all the fries because you could get a fry that wasn't in the dip and the cheese and they were fine. Mm -hmm. So they were good and crispy. So I recommend in the video, if you watch it, um, that you see if they'll get a, a cup of the queso dip um, and dip your fries in it. It'd be so much better because I love the flavor of it. It's just, I didn't like the soggy fry filling. Um, and the burger was good. Um, the, the, it had tortilla strips all over it. The tortilla strips are not crunchy. They're kind of soft. So you, they're, they weren't very good, honestly. But the, they had a little corn, you know, like a roasted corn that we get in uh, trail mix. Yeah. The okay. savory, the crunchy yeah. corn. Yeah. They had that on that burger too. So uh, they had the strips and the corn. And the corn was phenomenal. I mean, crunchy, I've never flavorful. never thought to put that corn on a It burger. must have been mixed with their strips. Oh, do you and, think it was intentional? Oh, I hope so, because if it wasn't, nobody else is going to get it, and that was the best part. <laughs> Did the description say It didn't that? say corn, it just said corn strips. I it, don't know. Oh, it said corn strips. Yeah, the corn tortilla strips. Oh, it but didn't you mention actually corn. got corn. Yeah, I showed it a little, I held it up. It's actually huh. that crunchy, dried corn. Yeah, people um, have to let us know. Yeah, you have to let me know if you, if you bought that burger. Did you get any of those corn pieces? Because they were actually crunchy. The strips were soggy. I would never, ever in a million years think to put that on a they cheeseburger. Were they were good. Yeah. Corny, crunchy. Yeah. They were really good flavor. They were corny. <laughs> so the, the, the burger was good. Just know that it was spicy. The, the queso dip by itself, it, the poblano queso, is really not spicy. It just has a really good pepper flavor flavor peppers flavor um, the burger though was hot because it had a jalapeno bun and it had a chipotle sauce mm -hmm. on it so it was spicy it was so spicy. so best thing what the what you said if I were to go back and go to any of these restaurants and buy another thing I would probably get the grilled cheese dipping taco but I don't need the dip okay that would probably be my one thing you I'd know, go back for. Although I really did like the Tropical Cafe, the, the a, club. You're saying you would go back? I would get the cheese. Yeah, because the flavors were wonderful. It was just you didn't get much. Oh, because you said to order like three that or four was a joke. The, the dipping stuff was a joke. Oh, The okay. flavors were good. I liked the flavor okay. of it. Yeah, I just didn't like the dipping part. Which okay. was kind of stupid. Um, dipping it in that cheese didn't really make much of a difference at all. I'd rather just pick it up, and put sauce on it, and eat it. That really, really surprises me that out of this whole month of burgers, Burger and chicken King's sandwiches, blah. and stuff, he picked Taco Bell. The Burger King was blah. The Culver's was okay. It was it was bad. Uh, the Wendy's was good. It was just spicy. Um, the Tropical Smoothie, like I said, the Tropical Smoothie place was really good. I did I did really like it. So, so you just had a month of really good things. Yeah, just nothing that blows you away. I, if I had to pick two things, it would be the Tropical Smoothie. The the flatbread or that dipping taco. Well, now I'm totally shocked. I mean, really, I'm shocked. Those are the two things I would go back and get. I didn't think about it until we were just sitting here. I wonder at Burger King how much you paid for that Hershey's Sunday pie. Because when... dollar ninety nine. Okay, because when I think you, that's Because I know, I haven't been to the Dollar Tree in a little while and looked in the freezer section. I know that used to, at the Dollar Tree, you could get a one <coughs> slice one slice of edwards of edwards, of edwards pie and it was right only there. it was only a dollar so i was wondering that hershey's sunday pie it, it looked just like one of those it was like the same container and uh, the same size and edwards everything on. right so so i'm wondering which would be cheaper should yeah. you just go to the dollar tree oh you and, should definitely go to the dollar tree and get your dessert <laughs> and, and not, spend, not spend the dollar 99 on that because it really okay wasn't much. that's what i wondered yeah. okay so so that's it. Hopefully you will still, even though you've heard Kevin talk about the Wendy's, hopefully you will still watch his, yeah. his video it, and it, give him a thumbs up. <laughs> yeah, I can show you what they look like. Yeah, yeah, you can see, yeah, you actually get to see it and get the, the whole experience if you watch the video. So, oh, and I didn't so. mention the strawberry fusion. Oh, um, We looked Fanta, it up Fanta the, Fanta when I got home because I was like, what's this supposed to be? Because it didn't have a description anywhere. I tasted strawberry with a little like tartness to it, a tang. Um, Tammy looked it up. It was supposed to be strawberry and fruit juice or fruit punch. It's, fruit punch. It's supposed to be a strawberry. It's supposed to have extra strawberry in it. In a fruit punch. Uh huh. Um, I didn't get a fruit punch flavor, so I'm wondering if they gave me the right thing because she didn't act like she. I don't know. It's just it was weird. She like she knew what it was. Well, I said, "Do you have the strawberry Fanta Fusion?" And she said, "Yeah, we have that." And like. So they're not going to give me that. They're just going to give me some <laughs> strawberry thing. And that's pretty much what I thought, and that's what they did. Kevin, Kevin has no faith. He's lost all of it. Anytime time. there's a pause between me asking them if they have something, and then they, they say yes, then I'm thinking, 
they probably don't have that. <laughs> or, <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Sometimes you want to, you know, you want to think about it for a second. <laughs> it didn't taste like fruit punch. Right. Let's put it that way. Uh, really, really, really quickly, I meant to say, uh, we reviewed a lot of cheesecakes from the Cheesecake Factory, and I did not keep the containers to show you because we, I didn't even show the containers during the video. But I do have to say... Uh, they're all good. They're... <laughs> <laughs> just all you can't go wrong uh, honestly. Yeah. we we just um i loved probably the best of the month for me was probably the reese's peanut butter cup mm -hmm. and probably the oreo yeah and we did one that was like a um a vanilla one like a celebration one or something like that was pretty good no we did the celebration was our least favorite you're thinking it's about he he's i know what he's meaning you're meaning the 30th anniversary that's it yeah it was like he vanilla. knew it was a it celebration was, it was or vanilla whatever. frosting or yes. something on top of it It was yeah. delicious too that i'm glad yeah. you said that it was called like 30th anniversary that was it. It was absolutely delicious. So even though, yes, they're expensive, they're ten dollars a slice, uh, which is crazy. It, it is crazy, and it's crazier that they're thirteen dollars on the West Coast. But um, it is. If you want a good treat, though, a nice treat, something um, you. Somebody left a comment saying I had given the calories, and they said, "Is that for both?" That was one. <laughs> it makes me laugh to think about. Is that for both sizes? <laughs> I wish. And I'm like, you are really, really praying it is. Because it's not. That's for a piece. It's like 15, 1,200. Yeah, 12 to 1,500 per piece. slice. It just made, it made me laugh, you know? So yeah. anyway, I thought that was funny. That's wishful thinking. <laughs> yeah, it, it sure is. I wish it was that low for two. I'd eat a whole piece if it was. Yeah, exactly. Although we end up eating almost the whole piece we on video oh, anyway. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're, we've eaten <laughs> almost all of it during the review. And then afterwards, of course, we eat the rest of it. Uh, so, yes, we're definitely getting our fill uh, for those. But I wanted to, I, I, I would have been, you know, wrong if I hadn't to put them in this video. I want you yeah, to know. That they're, they're all favorites. They're, they're all really they're good. Really, really good. So I hope you enjoyed the video and we will see you doing this again at the end of September.